I've been trying to take a cute pictures for my time now, but because I'm very snotty, like, I'm always like this. Hi babies and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna go back to our roots. And let me tell you, I'm not talking about the fact that I did not wash my hair in over a week. We are talking about reviewing a product, testing out first impression. You guys know, this is what I live for. I like to tell you my opinion. I love to test new makeup. Goodness me, I spend a lot of money for no reason. <laughs> but today we are going back with a gold old primer. You guys know it's very affordable and that's what we like. And I actually have a cool, interesting product. Now, I do have to say, when I go to Primark, and I go to different one all the time, it's always very interesting because uh, it looks like they never carry exactly the same product, and uh, it's kind of like a candy out of a piñata, like whatever happened, happened, and you can't really always feel you can find everything anywhere. You know, I don't know, if you guys have ever been to Primark, uh, you feel like every single Primark carries different stock. I don't know why, that's what they do. Also, they really never tell like what collection is about to happen you just gotta be there at the right time and snatch it because uh, they're getting hot like people are shopping these collections like like not tomorrow so we are testing them out some of them and of course I have some eye product face products and lip products so we are gonna finish off this makeup and first thing first we are definitely gonna go in with the eyes the windows to our bank account as we like to say in the BB family and is the PS nude matte eyeshadow shadow palette now this one it took you here looks absolutely beautiful yet kind of familiar to some like design from a KKW but um, as I always say guys I've never tested out any KKW It's way too expensive for my rich also it's like the shipping would be crazy so we're just gonna test out how this palette performs now we have tested many of nine eyeshadow palettes and one thing I always find with uh, Primark is that it's never really consistent like some of them are amazing some others are kind of questionable but I really hope this is gonna uh, do the job also, it's called like a matte eyeshadow palette, but there is a shimmer one over here. I don't know. I'm, I kind of feel like it's a bit false advertisement, but I'm happy. At least like a little bit of sun, sun like a pea of an angel is there and we can just shine bright like a diamond. Also, I have this... Um, Chocolate Chick Palette. Now again, this one looks very hauntingly familiar to Too Faced vibe, but um, I kind of feel this is actually like super pretty. It's probably one of the prettiest palettes of the Faints that I haven't seen from Primark. Every single color looks absolutely stunning. I really hope it's gonna like work and it's gonna be pigmented because by the look of it, this is literally what I'm all about. Like warm tones, like oranges and like, oh, this is so pretty. Also feel like I wanna use it on my eyes eventually because you guys know blusher on the eyes is a thing. Don't be fooled. Don't be scared. Put them onto your eyes. Then of course we are gonna finish off with the lips and I do have this chocolate lip kit in mocha. It was the only one they had. Definitely too dark for me but I guess we're just gonna try the formula see what happened and yes. Um, lastly I did purchase one product that I'm not gonna talk about today but I need your feedback so make sure you let me know down below if you want me to do a review about it because I have have this PS nude highlight and contour kit and definitely this one is uh, um, the dupe from the KKW you guys have seen I done the kind of like dupe by the makeup revolution brand so if you want me to do like uh, makeup revolution versus Primark one more time I know you guys really love that video let me know and I'll work on it so I guess it's time to start and glam up you guys know the drill this is our safe place so we do not lie and we always keep it real and honest and of course make sure you grab your beverage and your snack because it's always a long video with Carmi MUA Alright baby, start zoom you in because you know the drill, we gotta see up and close and personal and I have here the palette, of course a big fluffy brush, we're gonna start with our crease. Now this palette has a lot of mattes, like 8 out of 9, so definitely you can use it in so many different ways. I feel today because there is a lot inspired by like a nude brown, I really wanna give you like a good brown smoky eye, it's something that I really don't do often, I always tend to put like orange and crazy colours, so I'm gonna start with this one over here and I'm using this brush by Beat Makeup. Dust off the excess and start to work into my crease. So far, 
sounds so good, I have to say blendability is absolutely amazing. This is definitely going to be one of the good eyeshadows from Primark. Pigmentation is yet to be a bit desired, like it is a transition shade, so normally they don't really show as much. But yes, I did have to like go in a few times. So I'm going to go in now with this mid color over here. And what I want to do is actually start to intensify my out of edges and see if I can actually build it up more. I definitely have to say this shade has redeemed a little bit the palette like the pigmentation is there now I'm thinking to actually do another matte shade for my lid so I'm gonna go in with this one over here and what I'm gonna do I'm literally gonna press it and pat it in I feel like I really want to give you like a matte look I've really never really get to do that so I guess today is the day It's now time to the lower lash line and we're gonna use two colors. First thing first, a small detail brush and we'll shade at the middle. What we wanna do is literally go in a corner to outer corner and just keep on blending it and softening it up so that again, we create a base color because after we're gonna use this one over here, so the darkest brown and we are gonna positioning only on the out of edge. So very smooth, very close to the lower lash line because after when we do our wing liner, having a little bit of intensity just at the edge is really gonna help the wing to go very nice and very beautifully. So let's just do this and of course the Moto Carmi Mie blend, blend, blend. you like this look is exquisite I have to say like the shadow have blended so well and I know when you see this palette there are a lot of browns but that is why it's called nude but also let me tell you they all layer on top of each other so nicely and you can definitely create this super simple look and you can still feel and see the depth of it I think this palette is a bomb I think it's very good now I did not mention that this palette is only four pounds for nine eyeshadows and the pigment is good the realization of this look is definitely very very nice now I'm gonna do my eyeliner and my lashes off camera and finally I have back my Alice Splash liquid liner you guys know this is the best eyeliner in the world for me so I'm very happy to actually use it today and then we are gonna move in with the cheek product because I really want to look more like when right now I look more like Alright babies, we are back and now is the time to contour this face. Of course, this is the palette. Now, I'm gonna go in with this nice angle brush and the shade Milk Chocolate. It does look fairly pigmented. Let's see, yes, it's definitely a pigmented shade. So we are gonna do like the cheeks, the jawline, the forehead, the nose. We wanna look like poochy poochy, so let's do this. blush and I'm between strawberry melt and chocolate orange now I definitely have to say chocolate orange does look a little bit too dark for me so I'm gonna go strawberry melt and pick it up on this brush and then just kind of like dust it on top and yes it is very very pigmented so what I'm gonna do I'm literally gonna use exactly the same amount on the other side and keep on blending it until it looks good Alright babies, it's now time for the highlighter and I have my fan brush. We're gonna go in with vanilla cream. Now you know I'm very particular the way I like my highlighter. I do like them kind of beaming but not texturizing and I definitely love to blend them. I never really like people that they have like a streak of highlighter like kind of like sitting on top. I just feel like blend, honey, blend. But again, if it is your gem, is uh, is your gem and keep on rocking it. Eh? Ooh, okay. So definitely this eye highlighter is showing up. There is a slightly texture, so it is drying up on uh, my foundation over here. I don't know if the camera is gonna pick it up. It's looking nice. It's a little bit too insta dry for me, so let me add a little bit more and see what happens. Right, 
Kate's Primark. I'll see you. This eyeliner is popping. Also, I put it on a little bit of my collarbone and on my shoulder. I'm feeling very like Tati Westbrook today. I always seen her and she's so gorgeous and she always has like swatches on her kind of like shoulders and I'm like, girl, I have to spend two hours and a half to shave my shoulder. Like if I do swatches like that way, like this video like will take forever to make. So yeah, that's the reason why I don't really show my hairy shoulders. But let's go back to this highlighter. I gotta say, mama is a popping today is very very beautiful and I definitely think like the overall of this actual palette is uh, glorious like every single shade really goes well together I'm very intrigued to actually use it on the eyes I really want to see how it's gonna look and perform because it's pigmented and the blendability is still very stunning now I want to say that this palette again is retail for four pounds so you pay a pound for each pen and you do get 3.5 grams a pen when with the eyeshadow it is 1.5 5 grams per shadows but overall I still think like Primark is still giving us a very good ratio between quantity and price and this formula both of them they worked very beautifully so now we are gonna finish off with a lipstick because mama is angry and it's almost four o'clock so I'm gonna wrap it up because I'm waiting for some good Chinese takeaway and also I'm gonna watch Big Bang Theory I'm very excited to catch up with the old episode I know doesn't make sense with this video Video, but you're gonna get to know me a little bit more so we are gonna do this chocolate lip kit in the shade mocha it's a little bit dark I'm already feeling it I would definitely go in with a strong red lip but I guess we're gonna try this one It's written for three pounds you get a pencil and a lipstick and again is a knockoff of the Too Faced but yet again let's see oh my god it's already exploding everywhere let's see if it's gonna work I used to use the Too Faced I don't actually use Too Faced as much anymore I don't really support the ethic of the brand so before me throwing up too much shade let's apply this lipstick on and see what ha happen Now Primark, tell me, did you really have to ruin it at the end? I really don't have any words for that. Every single time, like 99% of the time, the lipstick from Primark are almost a pass. Like, I'm always questioning why I keep going there and buying them. Because they really, really rarely work. And this one is one of those days when you just feel like, hey, I wasted three pounds and I could have got myself something else. Because let me tell you, the lip pencil has no much pigment to it. And I kind of feel like I had to go in and out so many times to kind of like outline my lips and for me that is a pass like if I feel like if I have to spend like 10 minutes on a lip pencil I don't want it I really don't actually need it and uh, talking about this uh, lipstick slash lip gloss I'm not sure how to categorize it yet um, there is some pros that actually is very pigmented and it does kind of look pretty like it gives you like very good effect there are two things that I really don't like the first one is literally the smell is abusing my nostrils because uh, it stinks of chocolate it doesn't smell of chocolate it stinks of chocolate and for me no 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 also another thing that I don't like is the stickiness the feel it literally reminds me when I used to be like um like a month ago and I used to abuse a Nutella and I used to wake up like at four o'clock in the morning and just put a spoon in and just blah, blah, swack it onto my mouth and most of the time I used to go to bed and I forgot to like clean up my mouth that is literally what it feels like when you put Nutella onto your lips and you just like you feel like it tastes good but it doesn't come off that is literally the feel of this lipstick is driving me bananas so I probably am not gonna use it ever again so I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video because for me it's always so much fun to create content I love sitting down on my desk chat with you babies and every time I see your engagement it really really makes my day and I still can't believe people are watching me like that is insane so I really hope you guys have liked this crazy Primark video and make sure to give me a good chance up say subscribe and let me comment down below make sure to be on the look because I am uh, actually gonna do a giveaway this Friday so I really want you guys to participate because um, I feel like spring is coming soon so thank you so much for watching and make sure that if you can and if you want share this video
video make sure we are getting a bigger and stronger baby family because uh, we are the best family out of the internet also I spent two hours on shaving this side of my body I should have some recognition from it <laughs> and uh, always remember like if you like hate if you hate and until next time you're welcome